We are at Telepan Local, and today we're talking about escargot, otherwise known as snails. It's a little scary for people, but should right. people be afraid? No, not really. It's kind of like eating mussels or something like that, which is more right. common. And it's actually very good for you. It's mm. high in protein, low in fat, so if you're in a diet, this might be a good way to go. I think a lot of people are even intimidated about where they would buy it. How do you even get it? Right. Where do well, you actually, that is the hardest thing about it. So majority of the restaurants or, or chefs would get snails from Europe, which is actually a, mm. a different kind of variety from the ones here. They're mm. actually bigger, the helix snails, whereas normally most of them are from Burgundy or some of them called Roman snails. Right, but for purveyors, if somebody is interested in looking, are there places online people can buy oh, them? Oh, for sure, yeah. yeah. Sometimes it's more of a textural thing. Right. Than really flavor. Than and then smaller or larger, right. it's just they're different. So try them all. Yes, of course, yeah. <laughs> and then when you're cooking, once you've gotten your hands on snails, obviously these are out of the shell. Sometimes right. they come in the shell. What are the differences in cooking? Mainly, you, have to, you just have to wash them all the time because they mm. have all this dirt inside. Sometimes people would put salt on them and the snails kind of spit out all the dirt that's kind of inside them. So you have to wash them all the time or like three to four times mm. and run in cold water or you could salt them for a couple hours. Then after that you could blanch them in water mm. a few times and they'll tenderize it. And I think that's sort of the fear with cooking escargot at home is that right. they can be very tough, you can overcook them. So how right. do you make sure that you don't go overboard with cooking them? I think you just deal them just like any kind of shellfish ingredient like clams or mussels. You know, it only takes a few minutes right. to cook. Don't go overboard. And maybe right. test one if you've never exactly. done it before. Exactly. I think that's don't the best way most, <laughs> most home cooks go towards like the recipes or like what professionals say, oh, it has to be three minutes, but you know, it's not always like that. Right, and does you know, it depend and, on the size? Right, of course, really and at, at the end of the day, just eat one, and right. if you like it, then it's done. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Eat, you know, when you're cooking, you always have to taste as you go anyway, so right. that's the taste best way. You go. Yeah. And then what traditionally are escargot paired with? What are the flavors that go well with snails? Uh, traditionally, it's just the French dish that right. has the butter yeah. and like the garlic parsley. and parsley. Yeah. I think some people put like some mm. anise or pernod, and you know, like mm. like they'll take it out of the shell and they'll they'll cook it and then they'll put it back with like breadcrumbs and the other part. Right, totally that's negating all the healthy. Right, <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> just Little fat some bread hurt crumbs anybody. on it. It's great. <laughs> So what else can you do with it if you don't want to go in that traditional way? What else do they pair with? And if you treat them just like clams or mussels, it could right. go well with anything. Here at local, at Telepan Local, we, mm. we pair them up with like chickpeas or a play on like, you ever had like clams and beans mm. on a stewy form where you could maybe forget that there's snails in there and you taste all this other flavors of like a stew. Well, will <laughs> you show us the steps for your recipe for us? Sure, yeah, of course. So today we're gonna make uh, the escargot dish that we make at Telepan Local, which is escargot with chickpeas and mint and black pepper. So first we actually get the escargot. This is our burgundy uh, escargot. So once we get them, they're actually pre-cleaned. We blanch them in salt water just to kind of get rid of any more sand that's in them and also just to take off some of like the preservative. We actually start by cooking chickpeas in vegetable stock and then steeping fresh mint to it so it has some kind of background flavor of mint. So to start off with the dish, we start off with a chickpeas with some of the stock that it's cooked on. Then from here, we just kind of heat them up till they're warm. And then once it's warm, we add the escargot that we lightly blanch in salted water. And once that's heated through, we add a little bit of butter and some salt. And we kind of mash some of the chickpeas in there just to kind of give it more viscosity in the sauce and kind of make it kind of stewy. When you're cooking this, you go from between medium and high heat. And then so from here, once everything is heated up, we add fresh mint and some parsley. And you can see how that just kind of, look, kind of looks like a stew or like a play on clams and beans. And so at the end, we're just gonna plate this up and we're gonna finish it with toasted garlic and parsley, which is just toasted and extra virgin olive oil. So this is kind of like the play of your traditional escargot. And then we finish it with some toast points to kind of suck up the juices. More fresh mint and parsley. All right, so there you have it. Uh, Talapan Locals escargot with chickpeas and mint. Does no one